Hey everyone! So, as you may or may not be aware of, I recently graduated high school. Yay! Yay! Celebration! <laughs> as such, I am preparing to go to college, so I've been acquiring things, mostly my new laptop. It's not that huge space-wise, so I had to get an external drive for it. So we're putting, like, movies that are already kind of downloaded onto that so they don't take up my space so today was the big like test to see if that worked we put we plugged the drive in and then my dad and i were looking through the videos wondering which one to use our test video i thought we were going to do like i don't know one of the lord of the rings movies or something but he had another idea and that was to watch one of the more home videos lauren's speech <laughs> from my fifth grade moving up ceremony not even a graduation a moving up ceremony I didn't really want to watch it because I was like, oh my god, it's going to be really uncomfortable and I'm just not going to be happy. Uh, but he really wanted to watch it, so we did. Well, it was cute, obviously, because I was like little, little 2011 Lauren. But more than that, I actually, I thought I sound, I spoke about some interesting things that I kind of wish I had ended up applying to my life more than I feel like I have. So I'm going to play it for you guys now. I'm going to talk about it a little bit at the end. See you there. But this year be better. One thing that sparked in my mind is post. On my first day in space patrol, I was nervous. What if Mrs. Connors passed in and listened to me? At the time, I wished for a door post, but now I'm glad I had a class. I made many new friends, like my partner Catherine, and several third graders. Looking back on it, I now see how insecure I felt. Now if I look at myself, I see a confident girl. I now believe that one reason fifth graders get a post is so they can learn that even if they're nervous about something, they can always succeed. I've learned many things at self now, and not just in academics. I've learned about trust, how to trust a friend to not always jump to conclusions. I've learned about loyalty, kindness, courage, how to stand up to bullies, how to be brave. Not all schools teach those things, but my school does, and if they hadn't, I would be a different person today. At some schools, people go to their classes they had in a classmate and ignore them for the rest of the day. It's not like that here. At South Mountain, our classmates are more than that. They are friends, and we don't ignore them. We try not to hurt each other. Sometimes it just happens. But since we're friends, we can make up. South Mountain doesn't just leave you with a yearbook. It leaves you with memories you can always look back at. So the yearbook can help me remember. It's the events that have left them off. A few memories that I will treasure forever happened at Camp Fairy Lake. One of those happened at the campfire when we were all together singing. I felt the barriers dissolve between us as we became one big circle instead of the many small ones we were usually in. If I ever feel that like South Mountain is far away, I'll just look in my heart and find the South Mountain spirit inside. I know South Mountain will always be a part of me, but that doesn't mean I won't miss it. I miss my teachers. But they too are in my heart and won't be me. As one door closes, another opens. As fifth grade ends, sixth grade begins, and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video, at least a little bit. And I don't want to talk too much about it because I think, first of all, it's just not that long, and also I think it kind of speaks for itself. There are a few things that I kind of want to note. One that I still, you know, do believe in is that, like, determination and if you're persistent, like, you will succeed. Maybe not the success that you had envisioned when you first started on whatever project, but, like, you will achieve something if you try. That's at least what I'm definitely going to keep telling myself as I embark into a creative industry. I do wish that um, I had listened to myself about not jumping to conclusions because... I just definitely still jump to conclusions about things. I help less than like I used to, but probably not. I think my favorite quote, if I can remember it correctly, I think I wrote it down, but I don't know if I wrote it down right, um, was when I was talking about how people at my elementary school, like we were more than just classmates, like we were friends. And I said, you know, we try not to hurt each other, but sometimes it just happens. But because we're friends, you know, we can make up. And I think that's just, that's just something not only like 
really cute but just very relatable for me now at this point where you know like it's so so easy sometimes to like accidentally offend someone or if you're having a bad day to take it out on someone else but like if you care about someone and they care about you like you can make it better all right so that wraps up my little words of wisdom from fifth grade me if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me you probably won't see more little videos but more of me now um, yeah have a good day bye it's crazy i was like such a smart little fifth grader and then i lost it all do you ever read that book, The Phantom, the Phantom Toll Booth? They, they, they have a little bit where they jump to conclusions. It's like, that's me. All the time.